Welcome to The Joe Show. Joe kicked off the new semester by being selected as a 2010 Black Achiever in Business and Industry. Held at the beautiful Kansas City Federal Reserve Bank, the Black Achiever Society of Greater Kansas City and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference honored Joe and 10 others at the 37th annual event. Um, we are here celebrating the achievements of blacks in their corporations. We look at their contribution to the company. We look at their education. We look at their uh, contribution to the community and whether or not they are actually helping their company to achieve their goals. Nominated by his co-workers here at MCC, Dr. Seabrooks graciously accepted his award, an award that means more to Kansas City than one might think. And this is one of our stellar programs. We're very proud of the Black Achievers and uh, they are the cream of the crop of people working in business and industry in Kansas City. They uh, give through their positions in the corporate community, but they also give through their involvement in the community and working with young people, mentoring young people, being an example of positive, of good workers, of good people in our community, and this means an awful lot. Joe also accepted recognition of MCC as a sponsor of the Black Achievers Society. The spirit of Martin Luther King flourished at Blue River as students, faculty, and staff participated in the MLK Day of Service. Um, and we're just gearing up for the day. Hopefully it'll be a really good day. Dr. Seabrooks was unfortunately ill, but he was there in the spirit, with 80-plus participants fueling up on Lamar's Donuts and Panera Bagels before heading out to deliver Meals on Wheels and help out at Hillcrest Traditional Housing. I heard about this through Phi Theta Kappa and we do a lot of service projects and this was one of the big ones that we really wanted to focus on and so far the experience is great. I've been excited about this day for a while and I'm really excited to go on the routes and serve hot food to people so we'll see how it goes. I've never actually done anything like this before. We're very grateful that the community college system, particularly Blue River, has come out to lend a hand today to help us as we work to transition homeless families from homelessness to self-sufficiency. We are very reliant upon volunteer service, and today we are um, doing exactly the thing that, that uh, Dr. King taught us, which is that we are here to serve each other and to uh, lend a hand to our fellow man. Blue River also had a group at Leah Shelton's making blankets for Children's Mercy Hospital. Dr. Seabrooks would like to extend his gratitude to everyone who participated in the MLK Day of Service. After a sobering in-service, Dr. Seabrooks got a sugar rush as he presented prizes to the winners of the in-service dessert challenge. We are congratulating the award winners for the dessert challenge. Now, I could give you the names now, but I'd rather not be on our way. And Basil Lister, Lister this is his... Um, his, his plan, his design, his, his uh, idea to recognize folks in this way. And also, I think he has a sweet tooth, but don't even hear that from me. Sweet, sweet teeth, that's this thing. Um, yeah, it's basic. Third place went to number 13, Sharon Cavanaugh's pecan pie. Second place went to Trisha Lee and her light no-bake cheesecake. Thank you. And Basil, Basil thanks you the most because he, he has the notorious uh, sweet tooth. And first place went to none other than Mark Richards and his chocolate cheesecake. And so you are the winner of this year's uh, fall in service, excuse me, spring in service 2010 dessert challenge. So congratulations. Thank you. If you'd like to know the recipe, you have to wrestle them for it. Thank you. <laughs> Blue River seems to like cheesecake. Well, that's it for this episode of The Joe Show. Be sure to join us next month as Dr. Seabrooks talks with us about the upcoming budget town hall meetings. See you then.